Hey everybody, we got a hot topic today. This one is from Tyler Crow. He wants to know my opinion on fasted training. Uh, and I'm not gonna actually answer that, Tyler, because I've got another video, I've got a number of videos on that topic. And you can just go into my playlist, search intermittent fasting, Vince Del Monte, and it'll pop up. You'll find a few of them actually. And um, I would prefer to answer your second question. I've never been asked this. It's, um, here, I'll just read what you wrote. Also, on a side note, I love your channel. I have a fitness channel I'm trying to grow. Any feedback you can offer would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, Vince. So his handle is Team M Shaw. And uh, I mean, the first piece of advice would be just to get more shout outs from guys like me. And I'll be honest, I haven't gone to uh, Tyler's channel. I trust you've got good information on there. Uh, but I mean, I'll be honest, you know, business is all about forming relationships. I do business with people that I like, know, and trust. And, um, you know, the best endorsement you can get is from uh, somebody who has a following who uh, basically goes to bat for you and say, check out this guy. And most people endorse their friends, people they know, like, and trust. So I encourage you to look at this as, um, an, you know, you got to build relationships, genuine, genuine relationships, natural relationships. And sometimes they take years to develop. And sometimes you have to fly to people and you have to talk to them. And it's just like forming a real friendship in life. It's not, these aren't like fake friends. These are real people. And oftentimes, eventually you can end up on a video together. You can promote each other. And the fastest way to grow your channel is by, you know, tapping into somebody else's following and then having them do it for you as well. But you know, it all starts with, you know, how can I offer this person value? You know, why would they want to help me first off? And it all starts about reciprocity, you know, putting yourself out there and doing something without expecting anything in return. And that's essentially how I built my online fitness business. I was constantly looking at how I could help people. And, um, when you do that, people want to help you back. So that's what I encourage you to do. It's, it's really about, you know, human relationships. And, um, you know, obviously you've got to have great content. Uh, you need to spend an hour, two hours a day. Hopefully you have a degree and some good schooling behind you so that you're putting out quality information that serves people. You need to figure out who you want to speak to like, who's your message for like 80% of my viewers are males. I don't speak to females. I just, it's just not what I do. Um, I know my demographic. I know the age group of people that want to watch me. I know their goals and you have to figure out who am I going to be, um, an authority figure, if you will, too, you know, and you want to start with like figuring out who's your niche. And that really, uh, requires you to understand you can't be all things to all people. I'm the skinny guy expert. I'm not the guy to get you ready for CrossFit. Um, I don't do powerlifting. I don't do functional training. I don't do, um, you know, you know, you know, a specific athlete training. I'm the guy who helps you build muscle. If you're skinny and you want to build muscle, come to me. That's what I know best. And that's what I can help you with. So you really have to get clear on who you want. Essentially, I'm going to give you a really cool, um, a cool picture. So if there's a hundred people out there you could speak to, you could get 10% of those people a hundred percent of the time, or you could get 10% of those people 100% of the time. That is a very powerful way to think about, you know, how you want to communicate. That way your message is much more congruent with what their goals are. And, um, you know, you're going to grow your following and they're going to spread the word. Hey, this is got to go check out Vince. He's the muscle building guy for skinny guys. Um, next you want to come up with an upload schedule, you know, whether it's once a week or twice a week, you got to be consistent. So you, and you have to understand it's not easy. You know, I've been going at this since 2008 and you know, there's channels that have got like five to 10 times more followers than me who've only been online for one to two years. But do I quit? Do I get frustrated? No, I have people that I serve and I have a moral obligation to those people. So I have a specific way of doing my my delivery, my distribution. And you know, I do a video a day. I graduated to that, but, and you have to figure out what is my video upload schedule. 
Another tip I'll give you guys. Um, now I have a, you know, I have a certain way I do my videos, but I recommend that you have themes. If you're not sure, like what should I film on? Well, I'll be honest. You know, the best way to start off is like themes. So maybe for this month you do just ab videos. Next month you do nutrition videos. Next month you do, you know, recipes or you know what I'm saying. So have themes so people can follow along and you can go deep on a certain topic. Um, those are sort of some of the core principles and, and, and um, you know, obviously people like the shorter videos and I'll give you probably the biggest tip. If you look at the most popular YouTube channels online, I mean, I'm just thinking of a couple off the top of my head, my buddy Jeff Cavalier, Mike Chang, you look at Zuzana, you look at Scooby, you look at these channels and what do they all have in common? None of them wear their shirt. The fastest way to grow your, I mean, sorry, Susanna does, but I mean, hardly. <laughs> but I mean, seriously, if you want to grow your channel faster, take your shirt off. I'm serious. You will get more subscribers, more views if you simply start doing your workouts without a shirt on. And, and I mean, it's not like a secret. It's like, shoot, that's what people like watching. Skin attracts clicks. So um, if you're able to stay in shape all year round, that's a huge tip and your channel will grow fast. I mean, not always a shirt, but I mean, if you look at like a guy like Elliot Hulse, I mean, he's always in great shape. You look at the twins, they're always in great shape. You know, they wear their tank tops, very motivational. So a lot of credibility there. So there's little things like that that are really important for growing your channel. I mean, I could go on all day here, guys. Um, you know, I mean, there's courses on this stuff, but those are the main things. And I mean, the big thing is, is that look at what you're doing on YouTube as info, Entertainment. So people are coming on here for information, but let's think about it. Why do you go on YouTube? Most people go on here because they're bored. I mean, let's be honest. YouTube is not the best place to get all your information. Um, you know, I put my videos out here because it's a big platform. A lot of people like to learn with videos, but I hope you don't come on YouTube to get all of your information because there's a lot of bad information on here. Most people come on here to get inspired. They're coming on here for entertainment. So you've got to have some personality and um, if you blend the information with the personality with the entertainment, you've got infotainment. So, so that's about it. And then the, just the last thing, man, I mean, if you guys look at my videos back in 2008, I mean, they're tough to watch. I hired a guy from uh, Mohawk college and he filmed them all at 10 bucks an hour. And he was a student, he had access to free equipment. So I just bootlegged it. You know, I wasn't making much money at the time. And uh, I just wanted to put videos out there and get started. I didn't have fancy audio or I didn't have fancy backdrops. Some of them were just shot of my flip cam and we just shot them and put them up and they were real. And that's how a lot of you guys can start. You don't need a full production. Now I have a team. I've got a team here. Uh, we've got a, you know, more elaborate setup, better audio, but it took me about, you know, 2005 to now. So that's what, um, over eight years. This is, you know, this is a full-time business for me. I have 10 full-time employees. I have a full-time video team, editors, uh, producers, people that help me with organizing the content before we shoot. This is a full, this isn't a hobby for me. I'm running a company. I've got, um, you know, a big team and I'm growing this. So, you know, we've, evolved over time. But the bottom line is that you get started and you just focus on the people that you've been entrusted with. You have a moral obligation to take care of them and just focus on putting the best info out there and have fun with it and just be yourself and you'll grow a following. So I hope that video was helpful. Um, you know, like I said, there's full blown courses on this information and there's a lot of technical stuff to growing a channel and SEO and backlinks and uh, a lot of cool stuff that, you know, that, you know, you can really dive into the analytics and learn a lot about, you know, um, a lot of cool stuff. That's a whole nother topic I'll probably never get into. But, um, but yeah, just be a student. Be a student, learn all you can. Look at the big channels, look at what they're doing, model them, get connected, build relationships. So I'm done, all the best, Tyler. I hope you blow up your channel and uh, if you're ever in the area, swing on by and we'll, swing, uh, we'll shoot a video together. Take care, man. And, um, I'm just gonna give you some basic things. So for, for, and by doing that, there's a natural, um, no, not rambling. Eh? Let, me, let me go from the top. So we got a question from Tyler Kroll. He wants to know um, how to build 